It's that time of the year when we are looking for jam recipes that can be prepared during the time of pollution. Contrary to what most believe, delicious food can be made with the limited ingredients that is allowed during this period. Hi guys, this is Ruchi Bharani and welcome to Rachi Food, your ultimate destination for 100% vegetarian recipes. And let's begin with a recipe for dal and rava handwa. In a pan, heat around a tablespoon of oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, let's add in 1 tablespoon of mustard seeds, 1 4 teaspoon of asafoetida, 1 cup of semolina or rava, 1 tablespoon of gram flour, 2 tablespoons of kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves. Roast all these ingredients for about 6 to 7 minutes on low flame. So the semolina has been roasting since 5 minutes and now I'm going to remove it in this bowl and let it cool down. Just cook it till it slightly changes colour. Next, I'm going to just warm up some buttermilk that I've made I've taken about one third cup of curd and one cup of water, churned it together and now time to slightly warm it. Once the semolina mixture cools down completely, time to add in all the seasoning ingredients. One teaspoon of coriander and cumin seed powder, one teaspoon of amchur or raw mango powder, two tablespoons of coarsely ground roasted peanuts, one and a half teaspoon of red chilli powder. I'm just going to keep some for garnish as well. Three teaspoons of sugar. You can reduce it if you want. Let's mix all these dry ingredients once. I had soaked 1 4 cup green moong dal for 4 hours and now I have made a paste of it and add this into this mixture. Also add in the lukewarm buttermilk. Give this a good mix. If you feel the need to add some more water, we can do that at the end but as of now, just before soaking, add in just the buttermilk. This is the consistency of the batter before soaking. And now I'll just let this soak for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes are up and now let's add in all the final ingredients. I also had soaked 1 4th cup of moon and then boiled them. So I'm going to add half the quantity into the batter and leave some for garnishing. Salt to taste. Give the batter a mix and if you feel the need to add some water, you can do so. So it's thickened quite a bit. All the semolina has absorbed all the buttermilk. So let's add in about 1 4th cup of water. Give this a mix. And this looks good. The batter is ready. I've taken a 7 inches greased uh, square tin. You can take any tin of your choice that you have at home. And now for the final touches. Into the batter, I'm going to add in 1 teaspoon of Eno fruit salt. Mix it well. And at this point, work very quickly. The batter becomes nice and fluffy. Let's pour it into the tin. Let's garnish this very quickly. The remaining moon. Mm. 
Also, some cashew nut pieces. Sesame seeds. And red chilli powder. Slightly push all these garnish ingredients into the batter because you don't want them to burn and drizzle oil. This halwa is ready to go in a preheated oven at 160 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes or till your skewer comes out clean. This hanva is ready. There's a beautiful crust on top. Also, the moong has become nice and crispy. Just wait for about 5 minutes before you unmold it or cut pieces. This is so easy to make and it is so delicious that I'm sure you guys are going to make it regardless. So, do give this a try. Comment below and let me know how it turns out. Till then, see you. Bye-bye. Thank you.